everyone, welcome to another Yarn Scrap Friday with me, Laura, and today we've got another little Halloween special. We're gonna be making these teeny tiny little eyeballs. <laughs> so let's begin. Okay, so for this tutorial, you really don't need very much yarn at all. We just need a little bit of white yarn and an eye color. So I'm gonna make a brown one this time and some black yarn for the pupil and maybe some red yarn if you wanna add a few veins around the side, maybe we'll do that. And this yarn is a sport baby weight yarn. So it's a yarn weight of two, but you can use any yarn size that you like. But with that, I'm using a three millimeter crochet hook. And you're also gonna need a yarn tapestry needle as well, a pair of scissors, obviously, and some toy stuffing. So just a little bit of toy stuffing or even more yarn scraps for, for stuffing your little eyeball. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so we're gonna start off with our eye color to begin with. So I'm gonna take my brown yarn and work a chain four loop. You can also work a magic circle and work the same stitches into a magic circle. But we're gonna do a little slip knot to begin and then chain four. Let's chain one, two, three, and four. Put your hook into your first chain, bring the yarn through and straight through the loop on your hook. So you've got a little loop of chains. So either that or a magic circle is fine. Then we're gonna do a little chain one for leverage and then we're gonna work seven single crochet into the center of our little chain four loop. So be careful not to put it into the, the first chain. You wanna find that middle hole and then just wrapping it around the chains, work a single crochet. So this pattern's in US terminology, so in UK terms, that's a double crochet. And we want seven, so that's one. Go back into the center again. Work another single crochet, two, three, and seven. So when you've got seven single crochet, and I've carried that tail, so I should be able to just bring that hole in a little bit. We're going to slip stitch into our first single crochet. So two, four, six, seven. Slip stitch into there. To join the end of that round. So you've got a tiny little circle flat circle of seven single crochet. Then we want to add our white yarn. We'll join our white yarn. So we get our white yarn. And thank you everyone for your get well messages. I'm slowly starting to fill myself again. <laughs> Sorry if I sound a little croaky still. So we're just gonna yarn over with the white, bring that through our loop to do a little chain one. We're not gonna count it as a stitch though. And then we're going to work, starting in the same single crochet you just slip stitched into, go back into there and work two single crochet. Okay, you want two, it's one and two. And then we're going to work two single crochet in each stitch around. So work two single crochet in the next stitch. And we'll double up our stitch count from seven to 14. So two single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, and coming up to the last single crochet. And it always looks like there's another stitch left. And uh, this is actually your previous slip stitch or what I call the fake stitch. So ignore that, you wanna skip that and find your first single crochet and slip stitch into there. Mine's gone a little bit small, I pulled it too tightly. So always be careful. That can sometimes catch you out. And slip stitch into there. Okay, so then moving on to the next round. We're going to do a little chain one and going back into the same stitch we just slip stitched into. We're going to do one single crochet. And we're going to work one single crochet in each stitch around. So keeping a stitch count of 14. And we're gonna do that for three rounds, okay? Three rounds. 
So one single crochet in each stitch around, keeping a stitch count of 14, and do that for three rounds. So I shall do that and I shall come back. Okay, so just coming up to the last stitch on the third round and then we're going to slip stitch into our first single crochet to join the round and hopefully you've got something that looks like this. <laughs> then what we're going to do is decrease, we're just going to do a little chain one and we're going to single crochet two stitches together starting in the same stitch we just slip stitched into but I'm going to do the invisible decrease and that just makes it a little bit smoother. So instead of going under both loops, I'm just going to go under the front loop only. Then go straight under the next front loop as well. Then bring the yarn under both front loops, yarn over and work a single crochet. And that just creates a much smoother finish if that's new to you. And do that all the way around. So next front loop, next front loop, pull through single crochet until you've got a stitch count of seven again. Okay, and the last decrease and then find your first decrease and slip stitch into there. to join the round. Okay, we're going to bring up a loop, open up our little eyeball and add some stuffing on the inside now. So let's get my Kirby bag, not sponsored. <laughs> Actually got this in Japan in one of those, uh, is it Gachapon machines? I think they're called. It's just kind of cool. And then taking some scissors, we're just going to add a little stuffing to our eyeball. So once you've finished stuffing, I actually use some blunter scissors to stuff, it's much easier than sharper scissors, a bit safer. <laughs> We're going to then just cut our yarn, pull that loop up and then get your yarn needle, thread on your yarn needle. And we're just going to sew this close, like drawstring it close. So we're gonna go into the next stitch out through the next stitch, give that a pull. Next stitch out through the next stitch. And just keep doing that until it closes. Like so. And then we're going to hide our tail end. And you could keep uh, some of the tail end for a loop if you wanted to make it into a key ring or earrings or something. Then trim down the excess. Okay, so almost finished. Then we're just going to grab some black yarn. I'm probably using all the wrong colours for this tutorial. <laughs> all the colours you don't want to use on camera. And we're going to take a short length of the black yarn. Oops. And then we're going to put some knots into the centre. So create a knot in the middle and do another one on top of that. So try and get it to land on the top. And one more until we create a nice really big knot in the middle. This is going to be our pupil. And taking one end in your yarn needle. So right through the centre hole, out the back somewhere through a stitch. And Take the other end and we're going to sew it slightly over just so it catches, catches on the outside. And then come through somewhere on the back. Okay, and pull both ends and your little knot should catch on the outside making a cute little pupil. And then just trim down your tail ends or hide your tail ends a little bit more. So I shall do that. Catches on the yarn on the inside. And do the same for the other tail end. 
Okay, and there we go. So you could leave it like that if you wanted to add it to the blue one. So it looks a little bit different <laughs> and um, crazy eyes. And we could also, if you wanted to add a little bit of red yarn, let's give this a try. I haven't tried this yet, but we're just going to get a little bit of red yarn and create some veins around the back. So I'm going to tie a little knot on the, in, on the end of this piece of yarn and trim close to the knot. Then thread the other end onto our yarn needle and we're just going to sew in anywhere and over to anywhere. And if we get that little pull that should just bring the little knot on the inside. Okay, it's not going in completely. And then I'm just going to sew random little veins around a little eyeball. <laughs> a kind of veiny patterns. Let's give us a try. And there we go, so I've just sewn on some like little veins around the back of the eye. And there we go, we have much, much more of a bloodshot eye <laughs> for Halloween. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial, I hope you managed to follow along and maybe you can make these into key rings or even earrings. Just a fun, cute little quick Halloween project. So, and a huge thank you to my Member Plus and Patreon members for helping make these videos possible. So thank you guys. And I will see you soon for some more crochet crafting fun. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>